Tonight, following up on a story we first brought you in January, 66 children every day are treated in emergency rooms for shopping cart related injuries. So now Alexandra Lewis is live to show how lawmakers want more than a quick fix. I talked to officials with Kroger and Walmart and they tell me twice a year they have maintenance crews that come in to fix their carts. If there are any broken straps or wheels, that sort of thing, but lawmakers say that simply isn't enough. This entire model has to go. One-year-old Julian Marshall is strapped in today, but last week he took a dive. He fell off the back. Luckily my husband caught him, but he's crazy fast. It's accidents like little Julian's that have lawmakers demanding change. A trip to the supermarket should not turn into a trip for a child to an emergency room. There are more than 24,000 shopping cart injuries every year. That's one child every 22 minutes treated in an emergency room. That just shouldn't happen. We know how to make these carts safer. And these, um, these companies that manufacture, manufacture these need to do that, do that, and the supermarkets need to buy them. Critics of the current cart model call the last shopping cart safety standard implemented in 2004 outdated, and many in circulation are not in working order. We tested the theory. Our first stop, Kroger on Heinke Road in Miamisburg. You can tell this is a newer cart. Look at this broken strap. You can tell this is old, barely hanging on by a few threads. Out of the 48 carts, five had broken straps. At the Wilmington Pike Walmart, six of the 60 we looked at had broken or missing straps. We had one that like it kept skip, like it would skip and skip, and they took it straight in. At IGA in Springboro, half of their fleet didn't have straps at all. Researchers are calling for design changes, better restraint systems, and placing the child's seating area closer to the floor. We can do this better. There's just no reason that that a cart should, should tip over and a child should, should get a head injury from this. Well, until any official change happens, here's a really great tip. Doctors say these are actually the best options where you have this little car. You can strap your child in, and if they were to fall out, of course, they're much closer to the ground this way. Reporting live here in Miami Township, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.